like to get the names in front of you and uh, so you know a little bit about who is uh, running and if you uh, like to know more quite know more answers and more have more questions about uh, who they are uh, you can give them a call I'm sure and uh, they'll uh, call the borough assembly and I'm sure they have their phone numbers and, and all that Dave miles how you doing this morning great to be back great to be back huh okay I love the I love the station out here I love the <laughs> closing comments uh, forums and people calling in. I love the over the coffee cup. And Jay Miles is uh, running for borough seat I, I right. against two incumbents, basically. Uh huh. Um, my 16th time running for public office. I'm the only one that's brought up public transit in all the forums or all these years. It's a big issue. Nobody else seems to even notice. Public transit saves us more money than it costs. That's why we want good government. It doesn't just cost something. It saves more than it costs in road construction and other costs like that. Um, last week, I had a little flyer on five questions I asked all the candidates. This week, I asked all the candidates to give me a short 15 word or less statement and I published that it's in the front page of the top class this week okay so my statement was homeowner exemption public transit seniors in the school for mentoring recycling land grant schools and no sales tax uh, the next entry was Valerie Therrien one of my opponents she said it's been my honor and privilege to serve our community and I ask for your support Tammy Wilson who you just heard speaking who attends just about every public meeting you can imagine Everywhere I go, I see her. <laughs> uh, Tammy Wilson said, as your assembly member, I will be honest, open, hardworking, and accountable to you. Uh, another candidate for seat C in the borough assembly, Wayne Swanson, said, vote no to politicians, vote for Wayne Swanson for assembly. Wolfgang Falk said, sign my webpage, homeowner exemption petition to stop double taxation of homeowners. And then he says, no sales tax. Um, a candidate for seat B, Mark Ames, said, Stop the serpentine theft of our state and nation's providential 90% land-based revenue entitlement provisions. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you can put a lot of words in one sentence, can't you? <laughs> and uh, school board, Diva Baker says, Invest in our youth today for a greater community tomorrow. And Jessica Smith, who's also running for school board seat D, said, We are continually faced with great opportunities brilliantly disguised as insolvable problems. And then we have Fairbanks City Mayor candidates. Uh, Frank Turney says, The jury has the right to judge the facts and law. John Jay, First Supreme Court Chief Justice, also called jury nullification. Terry Stiles said, Stick with the truth. Now here's a real poetic one from Joe Fields running for Fairbanks City Mayor. He wrote, I dreamt life was joy. I awoke, life was duty. I acted, duty became joy. <laughs> that was from Joe Fields. <laughs> okay. Uh, Vivian Stiver says, I don't support a sales tax. Please remember to vote. Uh, John Eberhardt for City Council says, diversify revenue by means other than sales tax while improving services and quality of life. So there's so the that's all in the top class. The top class, yep. the little magazine that uh, you can see in some of the newsstands. <laughs> I made it like a little ballot and those answers side by side right. so people can compare the candidates. Right, okay. And um, this Tuesday at noon to one at the uh, Borough Public Library, I'm putting on a forum about the Alaska Railroad and the possibility of extending the railroad through Canada. Uh -huh. Now, a lot of air traffic stops in Alaska to refuel, and now airplanes are becoming longer distance. They won't need to stop here anymore. That will cost us a lot of business. So I suggest if we have a railroad to Alaska, to Alaska's air and sea ports, that that could bring business to our airports. Take it by rail to the Alaska airport and then fly the rest of the way to China or Europe. And this would be a, a step we can do to ensure long-term, high-paying jobs far into the future. Okay. And that, that uh, form will be at noon till 1 o'clock on September the 25th. Yep, Tuesday. Tuesday. That's at next, the public uh, library. That's next Tuesday at the public library. So if you're interested in Alaska, Canada, Canada Railroad, uh, get there. Okay. Dave Miles, thank you very much.